Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This is a 50-year-old piece of oak that a friend gave me many years ago. Finally found a purpose for it. Today I'm going to make a leather and wood tote. This old oak, which was a part of a, a pallet from Montana, long story, is being cut up. It's going to become the sides of this leather tote. I'm sorry that I keep making toolboxes, but I keep having good ideas, or I keep finding good ideas. This is inspired by a box that I saw at an antique shop. There's a shop here in Soho, New York, that carries a lot of antique cases and bags and leather bags, and they're all very, very old. And this was there, basically the same thing. I'm adding some new details to it, but it had wooden sides and leather wrapped around it and it was basically the same shape and it seemed like it might have been a carpenter's toolbox but it was, in, it was very beat up it was very worn and I'm making some improvements you see here this framework that I'm adding to make the corners stiff is an improvement of mine and I am cutting out the corners to accept these ribs that it will be at each one of the, the four corners of this leather box and I'm just using some air nails wood glue obviously is going to end up doing most of the work air nails will keep it in place while I work on it and I like this heavy heavy leather it's it's really nice to work with it it gives but it's also sturdy at the same time and working around this wooden frame is it, it really gives it the shape whatever shape you want I'm gonna really need to experiment more often with combination of wooden frames with this heavy veg tan leather. It's 8 ounce veg tan leather. I get a tandy leather. And uh, they, they sell on their front page. They typically have sales on leather that has marks in it or that might, they might consider seconds. But I really like it. And I'm just uh, I'm making this box actually with no threading, no stitching. I'm going to use a couple of slam rivets and that's about it. I made the, the closure is uh, a buddy of mine was hanging out in the shop. Uh, you might have seen on Instagram and he suggested I do this loop and lock which is something I've seen before but I wouldn't have thought to do it unless he suggested it he's a leather crafter as well and uh, Koi suggested I make this situation you'll see in just a minute so I'm um, just nailing those are furniture tacks or you might say uh, upholstery tacks and I'm just using dividers to make sure that I lay them out evenly and these are just nailed directly into that oh there's no glue or anything just like this antique that I saw and I haven't yet decided exactly what I'm going to do for the flap uh, I have that big notch cut in it so I have to contend with that notch and uh, there's nail on the bottom here and you'll see I decide to just cut a little V in it like an envelope and I would have liked to have, have it be longer, but I'm working with what I had left over. And I'm cutting against the piece of scrap that's underneath there. I've got to be careful not to cut through both of those and scar the face. I'm using my little Lee Nielsen hand plane there to clean up the leather. And I just have a piece of coca bola there, and I'm rubbing the edge, just trying to clean it up a little bit. I could have spent a lot more time burnishing the edge, but I kind of like the natural cut. And here I am just making the closure. This is the beginning of what's going to become the closure. And I, I need to put a loop there. That's going to, the loop's going to pop through there, but it's going to be mounted to the inside of the closure there. And I just give myself an indication, so I line everything up. I'm using a very sh thin sharpie there to get that mark on the leather. And uh, now you see here, I'm just putting an eyelet in there. It's leather's really nice. It gives really, really nice. So you can kind of force things together and they accept each other well. And so there you see exactly what's happening. And that piece of wood is so that when I punch holes in it, it telegraphs it back to the table. I couldn't punch holes unless it was backed with a piece of scrap or something. It's a hole punch, just uh, leather working tools. Just get anywhere, art shop. And again, I can't. These are called slam rivets. You put in the, the post and then the cap. And I could not close those if I wasn't hammering against something. It's always best to really hammer against a piece of steel if you have it. But 
I had to kind of tighten it up later on. And now there's my lock, so you see what's happening there. The loop goes through the hole in the front, and then there's an, again another slam rivet. There's my lock. I get it started, and then I actually go against the piece of steel there, brick ahead. Make sure. And th that stem I'm using to hammer has a little cup in it, so I don't end up flattening out the head. And there you go. It's locked. Sturdy. I use this regular wood glue to glue the, the frame to the leather inside. And now I'm making some decisions on the strap, and I end up putting an eyelet in there. This is just a grommet. You, they sell these kits at the hardware store. And I'm going to have the whole thing hang on a screw, because I, I originally thought I'd nail it, which is how I saw the original sample in the antique shop. But I want it to swivel out of the way. And so what I'm doing is here, I'm putting a, I think it's a number 12 screw just sort of like an old antique dome screw slotted brass so it's pretty hefty that screw uh, I'm pretty sure it can carry quite a bit of weight although I wouldn't be carrying steel bricks in there some tools maybe I really like this this is the type of thing that's simple enough for me to produce so I can make several of them maybe make them for sale and of course my heat stamp from Tony thank you Tony Rolu Hillview Metal and wood. Check them out. And there it is. There's my tool tote. Happy with that. And you can see my previous leather working toolbox that I made a couple weeks ago there out of wood. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today.